All right. I guess it's winter time, guys. Girls. Uh, I'm. It was cold this morning. And I'm getting all my cuttings on my tomatoes in here. I'm going to get a head start. Um, put that right there. Some of these are cutting, some of them's in pots. One thing for sure, when the warm weather hits again, I'm going to have a jump on it and then uh, I got these things I think these things are called mother of thousands I'm not sure now I started all these from seeds that I got off of another plant And I suppose I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about thirteen of these. These are sucky ones. Um I'm thinking I'm going to uh not get so many different plants i'm going to just start working with plants that i like oh um, boy the celery's looking good look at that now that was started off of just another before she cut off the end bottom of the celery stone and look at that it's growing it's beautiful I don't know how long it'll take it to make another stalk, but uh, <clears throat> uh, I've got another one out there that's not as big as that, and then I got another one in the refrigerator that uh, that, uh, and I don't know what. My daughter is calling this some kind of a cactus. And she started this from a couple of leaves, this one here. And it comes out like this. And then all of a sudden it starts going a stalk and it gets up yay high. And then you can see where it's actually grown these leaves off of that one. So, I don't know if it'll put out another one or not. But if I didn't have this stake in there, this thing would fall over like that. So I put the stake in there. Now I need to transplant that thing into a bigger pot. I'm hoping that I can figure some way to uh, do some transplanting in here. Uh, this is a devil's backbone. Now I started, they, these all started from the cuttings. And I had one, two, three, 
Well, I put five cuttings in there and now they're they're coming out pretty good. Now I got my big devil's backbone I got to bring it inside and it's in a big pot. Uh I'm got a sn I wonder if a marigold is a perennial. Uh I'm gonna do some experimenting. Uh with these. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna play with that. Oh. Uh, now. thing started here this is a pepper plant I think it's a jalapeno I wonder who laid that up there I ain't gonna have it up on now these are my shells so then they can um okay Oh my. And this is that poinsettia we had from a year ago. And it did its thing this year, but those, that's red. I, I like the real red, red ones. And this is awful pale. But directly, I'm going to cut all these flowers, if you want to call them that. I'm going to cut all of them off and see if it bushes out more. I think it will. I think it will, because these, these were cut off at one time. That's got a weed in it. I got that root out. Um, I wonder if you can root poinsettias. I wonder. Anyhow, I'm still in the process of moving stuff in. Um, wheels is turning, folks, but this is just move them in here. I, it's the things I really don't want to take a chance on losing. I got two of these. I might bring in some more marigolds, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. I'm going to wait a day or two on these, and I'm going to cut all the flowers off. And, and see, supposedly if you keep the flowers cut off, it'll keep blooming. I think I've seen somewhere it said that do that. So... That's what I'm going to do with one. And then, oops, that's 
too high for that. I'll have to put that on the higher shelf. And then on another one, I'm gonna cut them back somewhat and see if it will shoot out new limbs like a perennial would do. Yes, I am. <sighs> All right, folks, I'm still wanting somebody to tell me what these are. I got nobody telling me anything. Lisa, have you seen these? Uh, I've got actually four of these. Two big ones like this and then two real small ones. Uh, but I, I want to know. I, I think it's some kind of... I think it's supposed to fill with water when it rains and holds water in there. Is that make sense folks what is it what is it it's gonna be tight quarters in here but and what is that what is it what is it Know what that is? Know what that is? I don't know what those are. And I got something over here. What is that? I think that's some kind of thing similar to them green ones right there. I believe it is. I believe it is. I uh, got one more thing I need to ask you about. I might have asked y'all about this one before. What are these? I got three. I got three cuttings in here. Yeah, I've got three cuttings in here. I'm trying to root. The leaves feel kind of stiff, but I think that's the way they're supposed to be. But what is it? I wish I could get a plan ID on my phone, but my daughter says there ain't enough space on my phone to do that. Plus, she's saying now it's not, it's not free. Uh, anyhow. Can y'all hear that game of my grandson's in there running? Oh, uh, boy, these pants is filthy. I guess it's pretty much a given that my grandson, my baby grandson, is not going to pass his grade this year. He's missed too many days. He missed, uh, Wednesdays is always a half a day. He went Monday and Tuesday. He missed half a day Wednesday. He missed Thursday, and he missed today. So he only went to school two days a week, and this is pretty much, he's always sick. So they say, I don't know. 
he had a fever yesterday and my daughter told him to stay away from me when he's sick. Uh, so I don't, but he's probably missed a hundred days this school year, I'm right, maybe 50 or 60. But he has type one diabetes. Always sick. I don't know what his, fe what his fever was yesterday. Uh, but my middle, my, my middle grandson, he was sick for a couple of days. And we was beginning to think he had COVID. But, you know, he don't live here with us. He lives across town. Uh, but I try to stay away from crowds and stuff, but how can you stay away from your family, especially when you all live in the same house together? I mean, there's four of us in here. Used to be five. I don't know, folks. Anyway, I want to talk about something. I don't know if y'all like to hear me yammering about... St what, baby? What? What? What are you crying about, huh? You wanting to go to bed, ain't you? Well, I ain't. It's, it's four or five more hours before I go to bed. Yeah, it's a good girl. Yes, it is. It's my baby girl. Yeah, I want to talk about something. All right, give me a minute. Hey, Diamond. Hey, baby. Where he went. You know, pets especially dogs and cats. It's almost like having kids. They depend on you for everything. And it's really a big responsibility. It really is. It really is. Anyway, I want to talk about something, so I'll, give me, I, I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes to talk about that. You know, I've been looking at a lot of my different subscribers, some that's usually there all the time. It's a lot more than I thought there was. Uh, and I try to remember, like, like with Lisa Kleckner, you know, um, she's got some health issues. Uh, Terry Reed is fixing to be 64. Darlene Justison, I can't remember. I can't remember her age. I think she's got health problems. Frugal Granny, I haven't seen Frugal Granny in a while. Number one, be yourself, that's Laney, and she's up there in years too. Manuela Kippies, that's my German subscriber from Berlin, Germany. Uh, she's, I don't think she's even middle-aged. Uh, I've had a private chat with her. Tanya's world, that's Tanya. She's in Australia. She's, uh... I don't think she's middle-aged yet. 
Uh, she sent me a beautiful clock. Um, that Angie Smith, aka it's me. <laughs> um, Barbara Everett. Um, her husband's not well. Uh, Cindy Conway, I think she's in her 50s. Uh, Dwayne T64, he's not well. He has COPD, and I think that rascal's still smoking. I wish he would quit. And... Tammy, from the life of Tammy, she used to be a dingbat, it's a dingbat world. Love that lady, I like to flirt with her. <laughs> uh, she works at Walmart. Tina Box, well, I can't remember. I remember, but I don't remember a lot of details. Uh, Ricky Lance. Uh, hadn't heard from him in a while. Um, sometimes he sends me a card, and I can't remember a time where he, when he sent a card that it wasn't a twenty dollar bill in there. Joyce, uh, uh, uh. Boy, I can't remember uh, her last name. Starts with a K. I uh, think they sent me a cup. I'm pretty sure they did. Steve Diamond, he collects bottles. And I think he's from... I can't remember him. Hadn't heard from him in a while. Willow Alice here, she has health problems. Uh, and pretty bad. Um, uh, hadn't heard from him while. Been threatening to send her an email to see how she's doing. Uh, And Mary Beth, that's fantabulous finds. She's got health problems. Ha don't hear much from her ever since her brother passed away. I hadn't been hearing too much from her, and I sure miss her. Uh, Napa Brewski. Love that lady, but I don't think she's following my channel anymore. She got upset at me about that $20 bill thing. I was trying to pull a prank, and it didn't go the way it was supposed to. She thinks I was pulling a scam. I wish she'd get back with me. Cruiser Mac. I haven't heard from Cruiser Mac in a while. A good while. He's in Canada. Uh... He likes to tinker with stuff. Uh, and and Mean Mama Meanest, I hadn't heard from her in a while. And Miss Twiggy, it's got to be about a year since I've heard from her, and I just loved her. And she's handicapped. Granny Doe, I hadn't heard from her since around this past Christmas. I think the last time I heard from her. Mandy Morgan, it's been a good while since I heard from her. And Billy B, I hadn't heard from him. In a good, he made beautiful videos in, from Australia. He traveled a lot. Beautiful videos. Beautiful videos. Uh, and MK Show TV... It's been a while since I've heard from her. I think I'm going to check in on her and see if I can catch one of her live streams. Snobby Scrap Picker. Hadn't heard from uh, 
him in a good while, and the same goes for 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 uh, UK Scrapper. Uh, they're both from England, UK. Uh, there was somebody else from the UK, but I can't think of what they were. But there's been several of them I hadn't heard from in a while. But these I just was talking about, they're all, most of them's pretty regular. And I appreciate every one of them. Uh, I don't, I don't understand why, well, shoot, I'm fixing to be 81 here in another month, in about a month and a week. Uh, as the old saying goes, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm north. <laughs> I'm north of the 20th anniversary of my 50th birthday. No, I'm north. No, it's more than that. I'm, I'm north. I'm north of my 10th anniversary by 30. I'm 30 years north of my 50th birthday. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That makes me feel so dead going old. But I you know, acting old I, I I watch some of my videos sometimes and I see me doing old stuff and uh most people hit around sixty five or seventy and all of a sudden, they start acting old. A lot of them will eat eat early and go to bed early and stuff like that. A lot of them won't drive at night. Of course, there's good reasons for that. Um, of course, they can't or won't go on long walks. Uh, they... They're famous for not returning telephone calls. I've noticed that about a lot of them, and I'm the same way. And when you start doing stuff like that, all, you start looking, looking old and walking old. Uh, but you need, I'm finding out, you need to forget about your age. I need to forget that I'm 80 fixing to be 81. Uh, and I and you start trying to do everything now that you should have been doing when you was 30 or 40. Uh, and thinking, oh, most most people hit around 65 or 70 and mentally give up. That's, that's what I've learned. And trust me, it's hard to learn stuff. And I'm, I'm my hearing aid is keeps on, oh, that's because my other one's laying in there on the, on the uh <laughs> my desk and I'm in my little plant room. They work together, you know. I can control both hearing aids by just using one and it makes radio contact. And when I'm get away from my hearing aid like it's sitting in there and it's on and it keeps signaling me in this hearing aid that my hearing aid is not in my ear where it's supposed to be. Uh, amazing how they do that, and I when I like if I want to turn my hearing aid down or up, it works. This hearing aid plus the one is supposed to be in my ear. Amazing what these things can do anymore. Uh, and I really believe that you need to keep your mind active. I got three passwords that I use on my computer and different 
uh, these and stuff. And the passwords, all three, they're different. And that's to keep, to try to keep my mind working. In other words, when I got, quit dinging, Derek, dinging. <laughs> uh, hold on just a minute. I'm going to go get that other here. And it's driving me nuts. GoPro, stop recording. You know, uh, uh, that's better. I got my other hearing aid now. Now it ain't doing that ding a or anything in my in my ear like it's supposed to. But another thing too, when you get older, you start talking old, you know, and you, you're talking about uh, you're talking about. I'm old, I don't care how old you are, or stuff like that, and you purposely forget when you were born so you can't remember your age. Uh, but p old people are constantly saying, oh, I'm too old for that. And there's some things you are too old to do, but are constantly Complaining, I'm guilty of this, complaining about my aches and pains. But having this YouTube family that I've got now, I'm more aware of their aches and pains than I am mine. And I got some aches and pains, but I'm in a lot better health and condition than a lot of my subscribers. Um... It, it's just quit telling complaining so much about your aches and pain of course now I'm not talking about my subscribers now y'all can tell me about it but uh, I'm I'm trying me personally I'm trying not to complain about my aches and pains now I don't really have aches and pains or I've become immune or what do you call it I uh, have a tolerance for it now like right now now I can stop thinking right now do I have any pains right now yes I got one down here in my ankle right now uh I've got one right here uh my fingers are try to lock and they hurt a little bit uh, but that's all the pains I have right now. Uh, well, my legs, I've got a little bit of one on the side of my leg there. But I don't have, they like, like Marty. God bless you, Marty. <sighs> oh, man, that just bugs me no end. Uh, he's not able, well, he's able to get out, but it's, too hard to do it like he was doing it. I mean, it's chronic pain. And some of you others, uh, I, I know y'all have some of these chronic pains and stuff. Uh, and Christy on Crazy Family, God, please be strong, dear. I think you are strong. Oh, uh, what is my dog doing? What are you doing, Bailey? That's the problem of my, my having these good hearing aids now. I hear everything, and, and I, I'm not used to hearing everything. I'm used to pretty much silence. <laughs> But that's just some of the things about being old. Uh, looks like I'm going to make my 81st year and how much beyond that. I, well, I might not make. I could die next week, you know? Uh, we don't know when we're going to die. However, I can accurately... Uh, predict my 
death age, I would be safe to say within a 20 year period, uh, <laughs> I'm I, now 70 years ago, I couldn't. Uh, I'm going to die sometime between my 80th and 100th birthday. Now, 70 years ago, I could say, well, I'm going to die sometime between my 10th and 100th birthday. So that's a pretty good span. Now I can predict it within about 20 years. <laughs> Just think about that. <laughs> oh, uh, I've often wondered when somebody passes away, when they die, do they realize right then that they're going to die? I know in some instances, I'm sure they do. But in a lot of instances, you know, like I, one time I was watching the baseball. What are you doing on my back? Come here, baby. I knew somebody was back there. Come here. Come on, baby. Come on. Come here. Come here. I can't tell if that's Diamond. I think it's Diamond. Come on, baby. Come on, Diamond. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, get up here. Yeah, that's Diamond. That's Diamond. Hey, baby. Yes, you my good boy. Yes, you are. You interrupted. I was saying at one time in my... I love this fella. That little sucker got out the other day. No, wait a minute. That's who... I, no, that's Diamond. Uh, he got out the other day, and nobody knew. They got up. They got up one morning and said, "Where's Diamond?" Nobody could find Diamond. And then they found. They realized that uh, when I opened the front door to pitch some to pitch something out on the uh, deck. He must have slipped out then. And of course they was all upset and everything. And no sir, that's that's Houdini. Dang on she ain't gaining what that is Houdini. That is Houdini. You will knock my stuff down, ain't she? There she goes. Oh uh, but he was gone. So they concluded that I let him out accidentally, of course, and uh, so every once in a while I'd go to the front door and open it up to see if he was out there anywhere. <laughs> and about the fourth or fifth time I opened the door to look out there, I, when I was getting ready to open the door, I seen him sitting there in the window. He was standing on some stuff I had stacked out there. <laughs> And it was cold, and that sucker, he was ready to come in, but he still wants to go out. Jennifer's about decided to maybe start letting him out a little bit every day. Uh, I don't know if that's a good... He, he, he wants to be outside so bad. Uh... But anyway, what I was starting to say, I, I was watching this umpire at a baseball game. And the game was going on, and all of a sudden, he was behind the catcher at bat. And all of a sudden, he just fell forward, just that fast, flat on his face. And they say he was dead before he hit the ground. So, when somebody dies that instantaneous, do they know, do they realize this is it? Maybe not. I don't know. That's a secret. That's a secret only you'll know when you die. And 
if you know it, it'll be a nanosecond or something, you know. So I I don't dwell on it, but there, just I try. There she is again. That gun at Houdini. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> My fur babies are wonderful. They're wonderful. But that's just some of the things. You, 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 and I really notice it when I start looking at my own videos of me in it and how I walk and stuff like that. I try not to act old. I'm trying not to complain about my aches and pains anymore. I'm just going to keep them to myself. Now, if I get a real sharp pain, like sometimes I occasionally do, you'll know it. I won't have to tell you. But, but I, 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 these people, these names I was just telling you about, these are the ones that pretty much stay. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot um, uh, Scrapping Crash. Uh, uh, golly, Ned, there's several more. That's why I don't like to call names about my subscribers on here because I'm afraid I'll forget somebody. And I sure I've got somebody here, you know, but I would just... Uh, and that one, M MK Show TV Love... Uh, love... What was the name of it? It's MK Show TV Love 3X. She's a moderator on a lot of different channels and stuff, and I think that's how I met her. Uh, and Snobby Scrap Picker, I've had a live chat with him, but uh, it's hard for me to catch his channels when he's doing his live and stuff because of the hours. Just like it's probably the same thing with him catching mine because of our and and his wife helps him too and and um oh man. I can't pull her name. It's blonde something. Uh love her. And UK Scrapper, I, I hadn't seen him in a while. Uh, but I'd like to see some more of these. I wish I could come up with something that would make my channel where every time you think it's time for me to have a video up, you want to go right to it and watch it from beginning to end. Uh, that's kind of content I would like to have, but I don't know. I can't do... You know, if I was still doing my woodworking, uh, the stuff I was making, and I didn't make... I, everything I made, all the crafts I made, was not out of new wood. I made everything from used wood. I got pieces of rotten wood and made and sliced it up and made stuff out of it. And I made birdhouses. <clears throat> but I had a little woodworking shop out there. And I can't remember why I quit. I can't remember. I got mad about something upset. Uh, I can't remember what it was. And I was still doing that right when I started my channel. Anyway, guys, family, uh, that's my video for today. And, um, uh, I love the smell of these things. I love the smell of these. I love the smell of tomatoes. I love the smell of all kind of plants and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to quit lollygagging around here. That's my video for the day. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And God bless all of you. And I'm thinking about, I will think about each and every one of you. 
of these I'll just mention, you know, uh, I, I do, especially the ones that's having a lot of pain in wheelchairs and stuff like that, and some of you are. Uh, I thought about making a list of the names and write them down, you know, type them out on my print, on my printer paper and and have a little note to the side what's your ailment, what's your health problems, where you got health problems. Um, I keep going back to Marty. He's only 46. And he's got this chronic thing. And they're afraid that if they don't get this straightened out, what's ailing him, that it's it's going to do permanent damage by his head being bent like that over, you know. Uh, and I guess Alan misses going out on those dumpster dives. <clears throat> but anyway, that's my video. Hang tough, everybody. And please help me. And please leave likes. And I, I would love comments. I don't care what the comment is. It, it could be also, I don't care. I just love comments. And I, it ain't no need of me complaining about the ones that there's two or three dislikes or thumbs down that I get every day. Every video I get those. And it usually happens. The other day I looked at my last video I put up and I had two likes, but it was at 100% because there was no thumbs down. But next time I looked at it, I had still had two likes and two thumbs down. So I was at my percentage thing was 50%. <laughs> Dang, that makes me so mad. <laughs> but anyway, okay, folks, I'm out of here. See you in the next one. See ya.